Inside KSPD Sports Extra, I'm Zach Fox. It's now time for our Hoop Madness Team of the Week. And for the second year in a row, winning the Chick-fil-A bracket in the Cap Rock Classic, we have the Monterey Lady Plainsmen. Yeah! They took down Friendship 72 to 69. Next, we'll speak with head coach Jill Snyder. All righty, coach, another big win for Monterey, something that you're very used to by now, but, you know, a, kind of a slow start to this season. But then you see this team really pick up steam, ironically, since the last time you two uh, faced Friendship, and that was, uh, you know, 12 games ago. And you got the loss there, but you've won ever since. You know, avenge it tonight. Just take me through being able to get back on top. Well, I think uh, you classified it as us as having a slow start to the season. We played some really very good teams early with some really inexperienced young people on our team and through the course of our season those young people have gained a lot of experience and you're starting to see them show out and really contribute to our team in a, in a big way. So I just think we're getting better and better and we've made a lot of progress since the first game against Friendship and I'm just so proud of them tonight and the resilience that they show and uh, looking forward to, to what we may look like another two, two, three weeks from now. We're so used to Monterey having so much success. A little bit younger of a team this year. Take me through this team really growing so quickly game to game, week to week. Well, for sure that's happening, but that's to be expected because our we have sophomores that have become juniors and that they're going to continue to grow. We've got freshmen that, that have become sophomores and you're just going to see growth and I think that confidence has become a big part of us. Uh, we've been undersized all year and tonight was no different, but I just saw us fight. I saw us fight in a way that I haven't seen us fight this year, and I'm hoping there's really a, a lot of transition for us in that regard moving forward. And you kind of hit on that there. I mean, you were down as much as 15 to friendship at one point, and you were able to claw your way back and get the win there in the end. But this tournament in general, I mean, you see a whole lot of different types of teams and from all over the state and, frankly, the, the, the world, and being able to have that sort of tournament and see all these different teams and have those moments where you do struggle. I mean, what, what did you learn? from this group where, where, where do you see them grow the most well this was a good test for us because we played a couple of really good teams in, in Lubbock Cooper and, and friendship uh, we've been playing good teams though we played some great teams in Salt Lake City we played some good teams in Pflugerville and Allen I just think that we're we're showing that we're for real we're just different we're not last year's team we're this year's team uh, but we're still a very good team and so I think that we've got a, a future ahead of us and we've got a lot we're still wanting to prepare for uh, down the stretch absolutely and for a coaching perspective the the tournaments can be great and it can be a lot as, as well but you mentioned I me mean, you, you're going out out of state you're going to Utah you're coming back here you're taking on a whole lot of games in just three days I mean what were maybe some benefits of a tournament and you see your team be exhausted but being able to battle that adversity and get a win nonetheless well I think everybody's in the same position when you're in a tournament like this and if I, I believe that friendship played five games we played four so uh, I just knew that our players down the stretch needed to have as much left at the end of this game as they seem to have uh, and then it was going to come down to the wire and it, it did and th to me these are the, the best games to play the games that you can win in real close situations because when you win in blowouts those don't help you a whole lot prepare for those kind of games that, you, that are inevitable uh, when you get into the playoffs and up next I mean you got district play take me through what this tournament maybe means for district play uh, you, you got a pretty big district against you well I just think it's it's a confidence builder uh, it was a lot of fun for us um, we had a, a great experience we're back-to-back uh, champions and I don't know that that's happened in Monterey's history in a while so I just want to congratulate our players you guys did a great job and they deserve this well, speaking of those players let's hear from a few of them now all right Ambrosia man oh unreal start for you take me through just being able to come off the bench right away and hit those shots um really I just wanted to beat them because they beat us last time so I just wanted I just went out there with a different mindset to win and I feel like that's what helped me it was my mindset to go beat them and win and surely this game was circled for a while now. As you, as, as you heard, I mean, the last loss was to Friendship a couple weeks ago. And then you got 12 wins since then, all sorts of tournament play. And I'm sure you saw on the other side of the bracket, hey, we got a good chance of meeting up with Friendship again and to avenge that loss. I guess that, that, that game was pretty well circled. Um, yeah, it was. I mean, I feel like the games that were before it kind of helped us get prepared. We played a lot of tough teams. And uh, yeah, that really helped us get ready for friendship because friendship is a tough team. So I feel like that really prepared us. Obviously, Aliyah Chavez, a slow start. And you had Ambrosia Cole being able to pick up that slack. And then you were able to, to, to hit. Take, take me through maybe this one-two punch that you guys have. 
Um, definitely just like I had to step up. I wasn't making the shots that I wanted or that I was getting. So once I just was getting the steals, once I was getting rebounds, I just knew it was my time to turn up, and that's what I did. I say it seemed like this whole tournament we, we've seen. Obviously, we know the offensive side of things, Jukenberry, but it seemed like the assists, especially the rebounds, were up. I mean, it seemed like a new facet of the game that that, that, that we're seeing from you. Uh, definitely, just stepping up, knowing that we don't have the biggest bodies out there, knowing we don't have the fastest bodies out there. We just come up. We all step up, doing well on rebounds, doing well on passing the ball, moving the ball well, and that's. Just everyone's playing their role right. Being able to win the Chick-fil-A Classic again, obviously the Caprock Classic, one, one of the biggest in, in the world, 119 teams. It's amazing to be a part of and be able to win back-to-back -back years. Uh, that, that's something that I'm sure you'll be able to take with you uh, through, throughout your life. Yes, it's very special. Just both teams have been have a special place in my heart, and they're just like sisters to me. So just winning it with them just means a lot to me. And there are the number eight Monterey Lady Plainsmen, the Hoop Madness Team of the Week. Next, they'll play Abilene Wiley on Tuesday. More K-Speedy Sports Extra coming up next.